Hi everyone, my name is Aileen and I coordinate the GLOBE Air Quality Campaign in Ireland. I work for the Environmental Education Unit of Antashka. So first of all, in case you're curious, what is GLOBE? Well, Ireland is a participant of the international science and education program called GLOBE. It is run out of the United States and it's sponsored by NASA. GLOBE's mission is to have people like you take measurements outside about your local environment so that we can understand what's happening locally. Then we can put all those measurements together to better understand what's happening globally, so all around the Earth. So your mission is to find out about the quality of air around your school. The Irish Environmental Protection Agency are very interested in this. Although Ireland's air is generally quite good by international standards, sometimes local areas can have higher levels of pollution that have not been detected. Can you think why this might be the case? Well, there are over 100 monitoring stations around the country, but they aren't able to detect local levels of air pollution. So we need your help to do this. So an example of pollution would be nitrogen dioxide. It's a pollutant gas. This means that it's in the air and it comes out of exhaust pipes of vehicles. So cars, trucks, lorries that go by schools. You can see it, especially in the winter, and you can smell it too. So, well, why do we care about this? Well, nitrogen dioxide is known to be harmful to our health, particularly if we breathe it in quite often. Well, the Irish EPA now want to know if it's high around schools where people gather every day. Um, because they can't have a monitoring station everywhere, they're asking you to do this for them using special equipment to measure nitrogen dioxide at your school. So we will be sending you this special equipment. So you'll receive three tubes, you can see in the picture. It is really just a small plastic tube, but there are two caps on the tube. So all you need to do is to go outside to put the tubes up. You'll have to remove that lower cap, just like it shows in the picture. In the upper cap, there is a material. In there, that material reacts, it changes when there's nitrogen dioxide in the air. Once you've left those tubes up for four weeks, you can put back on that lower cap and then you just have to send the tubes back to us. We will send the tubes to a laboratory in the United Kingdom and they will look at that upper cap that I just described and they can actually measure the amount of nitrogen dioxide that was in the air for that four week time period at your school. So what do you need to do right first off to begin with? Well, the first thing you should do before your tubes arrive is to have a think about where you're going to place these three tubes. What do you think about around your school? Where would you place them? It is really helpful to draw a map of your school first. Just a basic map you can do using just pencil paper or you could do it on a computer if you prefer. So what are you going to think about? Well, where are the most cars around your school? How about placing the first tube maybe close to where you think is the most heavily trafficked. So that's the part, the area outside that's closest to a lot of cars that are going by. Then think about other areas in your school, maybe like a car park, an area that's maybe not quite as much cars, but there's still a few around. What is the pollution going to be like there? Then you can pick a more sheltered area away from cars. Like do you have a playing field in the back or maybe uh, basketball courts or yards where you think you might be further away from potential pollution? So maybe put your third tube there. This gives you a whole selection of different areas to compare um, what you find to each other. So what else? Well, if you have time, it's really helpful to count the traffic at your school. So you can go outside, just take 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and you can stand and count the amount of cars and vehicles that go by. This will be really interesting when you get your results because you should find out that the higher levels of pollution that you recorded in your tubes are next to the areas where you counted the most traffic. But it's not always the case, so it's kind of an interesting project to think about. Also, this gives you really good information to share with people in the school, with parents and teachers, and let them know how much traffic is really going by at busy times. And you can let them know what the air quality is like too. So what happens next? Well, when the laboratory is done with their analysis, they send us the results. 
and we share them with the Environmental Protection Agency and they put them up on their website. We'll also email the results to your teacher. So you'll be able to see a map of Ireland that looks like this on the slide and you will see there's little dots around the map and each dot is a school. The colours that you see, they relate to the level or the amount of pollution that was observed at those schools. So the red and orange colours are higher levels of nitrogen dioxide pollution and the blues and greens are lower levels. So you can kind of see already just looking at the map that there's some areas that generally tend to have higher levels of pollution associated with traffic. And you've probably noticed that they're around Dublin and maybe other cities in Ireland, like maybe around Limerick, are there any around Galway, Cork? But that's not always the case. Have a look at some of the other schools that would maybe be rural, but are adjacent to a busier road. So it's really interesting to think, what do you think the pollution levels are going to be like at your school? So it's great to see all the hard work and effort that goes into this campaign. So we'd really like to thank you for engaging with this and working so hard to put these tubes up and collecting all this really important information. So don't forget to take photographs of your hard work and your efforts and then send them to us and even put them up around the school so people can see what you're working on. And don't forget, share your air quality story with your local community. So this can be around your school or even in the local area. Make posters, maybe start a campaign, try and encourage people to leave those cars at home if possible. And you can send us your air quality story. You can create a poster, you can write a blog post, you can do a scientific poster and send it to Globe. And we have lots of prizes, lots of competitions every year. So there's some great awards that you can get just by sending us your work. So thank you everyone. Good luck with the project and let us know how you get on.